Supernatus Teens. If you join me tonight, 7 p.m., for next Zoom meeting together, we're going to play a couple of fun games. The two facts I have for you today. In World War II, Nutella was invented when hazelnuts were mixed with chocolate to extend the chocolate rations. And tears contain natural painkiller, which reduces pain and improves your mood. So it's not a bad thing to cry. Today's lesson is called Microwave or Crock-Pot. Do you like waiting for things? Life tends to be one giant waiting game. Sometimes it's not a big deal and sometimes it can be so frustrating. Waiting is something that I've struggled with most of my life. And it's an area that God has been working at improving in my life. Patience is a problem for most everyone. We all want to have what we want exactly when we want it. We live in an instant society. So imagine that I have a pot roast, and I want to cook up this pot roast and enjoy a really nice dinner. Now, both of these appliances will cook it. The microwave will cook the pot roast in minutes. Crock pot will take hours. The difference is I'm going to get a much juicier, much better tasting pot roast out of the crock pot than the microwave. Faster isn't always better. This is the same way in our life. Quicker doesn't always produce better results. James 5, 7 through 8 says, Be patient then, brothers and sisters, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop, patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rains. You too, be patient and stand firm, because the Lord's coming is near. As mentioned in this passage, a farmer waits patiently for his crop to grow. It doesn't happen overnight. Nature needs to play a part in helping the crops grow. The same goes with us. We try to rush through our lives rather than slowing down and having patience in order to let things get done. Then we miss something. The COVID-19 situation has definitely been a lesson in waiting. We're all still waiting for certain things to return to some form of normal. Sometimes life comes with seasons like this where we seem to have to allow things to develop. It can be so frustrating because we, just, we want it now. We just want our stuff back now. We need to remember that during seasons like this is where God does great work. Going along with having patience is the fact that God wants to use our patience slow us down so that we'll listen to his instruction. God uses waiting situations to build our character. Waiting isn't easy, so when we have to wait for something, our character is tested. God can do things in an instant. I've seen it. But he often takes time to allow other things to happen, which wouldn't have been possible if he'd just given me what I wanted right away. So the bottom line, trust the Lord and his process. Discussing questions for today. Why is waiting difficult? What types of things make you most impatient? Why do you think it takes time to build character? And then the deeper learning opportunity I have for you today, watch a lyric video for the song Take Courage by Christine DeMarco. Journal, talk to God, text me or someone else about what part of your character is God strengthening right now through this season of waiting that we're in? Let's pray. Dear Lord, I just thank you so much that you can see the future. Thank you that you see how things work out. Because of that, you have a plan and you have a process. I pray that we'll just allow that process to happen. That we'll be patient, we'll wait on you allow you to do things in your timing, knowing that it is the best timing. But when it gets difficult, encourage us. Help us to keep pressing through and just be obedient to you. We love you. It's in your name we pray.